Uh, hello, my name is Paul McKenna. I'm a painter and printmaker from Cork and I graduated with a degree in graphic design from Central St. Martins in London. After I graduated, I started working in the artisan industry, manufacturing art materials, and um, this was a good education for me in the use of materials that I use now, and led me on to being an art educator. My work is inspired by my immediate surroundings. I'm a landscape painter with a special interest in the built environment. My work focuses on man-made structures, industrial scenes, urban scenes, and rural scenes. I have a special interest in sort of redundant spaces and um, spaces that are um, in conflict with the forces of nature and some sort of human intervention. I like when there is a conflict w um, within a space between the forces of nature and some sort of human intervention. I like to question how we identify with these spaces and how uh, certain experiences of being in these places uh, can transform um, how we think about the space and can make us question, you know, what was the history here, what's happened. And I try to capture how certain places resonate in our memory and can leave a, a lasting impression. They all tell a story of how we interact with a space. I try to draw uh, the viewer's attention towards these themes in my work and you know make people notice more things that are more unnoticed in everyday life or unobserved in everyday life. So with the process of my work I like to physically go out and explore uh, my locality and I do this through plein air painting, uh, photography and sketching. I'm interested in kind of going to areas that are more obscure and unnoticed. I suppose the cities that I've lived in in the past have been the main focus um, of my work. Um, and I suppose the proximity of uh, different cultures to each other and also the man-made and uh, nature aspect to it. I want to offer like an outsider's perspective uh, to these scenes. Uh, I use various uh, printmaking and painting techniques in my work. Um, I like to experiment with colour theory and interpretations of colour and I use various mediums and glazes in my work. I am fascinated with capturing uh, complexity of light in my work, um, whether that be shadows, reflections, and um, I use various glazes and mediums to, to do this, um, often playing around with uh, colour theory and sort of experimenting with texture on the work, um, on the canvas. I also like to use computers in my artwork and I digitally manipulate um, scenes, sometimes accentuating the colours or adjusting the compositions um, to heighten the sense of drama in the work. This is a piece called 37 Saint Mal. Um, this is a digital line drawing and the process that I used here was a, f a photographic transfer onto a copper plate and um, this is then printed and hand coloured. Uh, I like this composition um, because of the interplay between the building and the tree. It kind of speaks to themes in my work, um, the interaction between the man-made and the uh, nature. Uh, this is a painting called Clonakilty Farmhouse. Um, I exhibited this in the Lavit Gallery this year. I was drawn to this space because of its state of decay and uh, there's a sense of, um, you know, this place not being occupied obviously for uh, years, but also this uh, rebirth or reclaiming uh, by nature of the space. And I suppose I played around with the, the colour in this piece and also um, use a sort of prismatic breaking up of the light to accentuate the, the light coming down through the, the uh, roof. 
I'm using sample at the moment to um, research and look at new um, subjects in my work. I recently moved to the countryside and um, I've become drawn to farm gates as a, as a new subject because of their there are so many of them out there and they're in all various states of disrepair and I'm interested in the how they're such a simple geometric shape but they can be uh, in different states of decay. I'm also interested in capturing the shadows of these gates as well and how they are projected onto the landscape. Sample Studios has proven to be a great asset for me. It's a great networking facility, keeps you informed, gives me informed about all the various things that are going on in the art world. It's a dedicated space I can go and paint, and it's also a great uh, network of, of different artists in here.